Um, today I'm going to be doing a What to Keep in Your Locker video since it's almost September and that means for, you know, high school and middle school and I guess elementary school students. It is time to go back to school. So if you are already in school, this video is probably a little late, sorry about that. But if you are about to go back to school on like the 8th or the 9th, I think, whatever the day of then this video hopefully will help you organize your locker and know what to bring. So let's start. First thing is first. Pens and pencils. I know these are really big things of both pencils at least a lot of them are gone. But that is not the point. So obviously I don't think I'll be taking 72 pencils with me that aren't sharpened. But I'll probably have at least, you know, three or four pencils sharpened sitting in my locker, not to mention my mechanical pencils, which I'll have like two of in my locker, hopefully. And then this is like a cute little pack of pens, which are missing some also. But either way, pens and pencils, always keep them in your locker. You don't want to be that kid who doesn't have a pen or a pencil in the test starts because that's just awkward. And you know, you always have to bring your hand with ten pencils. Okay, that was cheesy, I'm sorry. Next thing you should keep in your locker is something to read because I know it might sound stupid, but it is always important to have something to do. If you have a free period, or you have a sudden class, and there's no one you like in that class. Or if you're on a free period and your phone is dead, and you're stuck in the lunchroom. It's the story of my life. So I have two magazines and a book that I will be keeping in my locker and probably switching out. Like once I finish the book, I'll open a new book, and then once the magazines expire, like months, you know what I mean. So first things first, my favorite magazine, Seventeen, is amazing. It's just it's like the best magazine out there. It's that and Teen Vogue, which my Teen Vogue has not come in the mail yet, actually. So it'd probably be my second magazine I would take, but instead I have Cosmo. Not really because I like Cosmo, but because it has Nina Dobro. I don't know. They're both so perfect. I don't know. She, I, I'm a huge fan of the Vampire Diaries. I don't really read Cosmo. I mean, I read the ones with like celebrities I like on them, like Demi was on. I think it was last month's issue, so that one will probably be permanently in my locker. Last but not least of literature is my Pretty Little Liars book. I am a huge fan of the TV series and I'm giving the books a try. Now, time for makeup. If I don't bring the makeup with me, I, you know, that's just a bad day. So this is like almost run out, but this is like my backup um, foundation at Sephora. It's like a regular brand. As you can see, there's like a huge missing part of it is what I already used. But I recently bought the uh, Tarte um, Clay Foundation, it's like a powder, it's actually, it's really amazing I'm wearing it right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's more expensive than Sephora, but it's definitely worth it. And then, I couldn't find my backup concealer, my backup concealer is on MAC, but I found my Tarte one, which is like my main one, so chances are I won't be bringing this exactly with me but it's amazing and always, always, always bring concealer if you wear makeup and like some foundation, you know, if you need it because you never know, you just, you just never know, you know, you don't want to just get to school and looking like a hot mess and then I have this, this looks kind of suspicious, not gonna lie. I am actually missing one of them, which is like the, the foundation brush, but they're really cute. This one looks like it's for um, eyeshadow or, I mean, I guess you could use it for concealer if you really want to do that, but it's 
smashing out your eyelashes. Like usually after I put on mascara, I like to brush them out to like get rid of, get rid of any clumps. And there's this. She's for like I'm pretty sure, or at least I would use this for um, cream eyeliner. And then of course there is the foundation brush, the um, famous foundation brush, which is currently missing. <sighs> Then I have this. I'm in love with these. Like these are like the mini ones. I have this one, and then I can't. I can't remember where I put the colorful ones, but it's really cute. It smells amazing. This is like the cutest thing. It's so tiny. It's a sugar lip treatment. Uh, it's pretty much just like this one is like a clear bomb sort of thing. I know this may seem kind of stupid, and I don't know if I'm actually gonna bring it with me, but. I have a little mini nail polish, which is, that, which is um, actually what I'm wearing right now. But it's like so cute and like orangey, it's like very summer kind of thing. And um, since the beginning of school, it's kind of like still summer. But in hell, if you chip an nail, something happens, you're bored during your free period or whatever happens, and you want to paint your nails, you know? Why not? Just why not? Like, there's no logical reason why you should not bring this. Or if there is, you know, I don't know. This is extremely important because after gym or PE or whatever your school calls it, you do not want to be smelling like a sweaty mess. I'm telling you, you just don't. You really just don't. I don't think anyone wants to smell like that. So here is just a random one of my mini perfumes. It's um, yeah, it's this. I don't know how to pronounce it. Noir Tease. Noir. No, I think it's Noir. It's pink, and that makes me really happy. Pink. My next thing, to keep in your locker, which is lotion. This is the Capri Seaside Citrus. It's blue. I love my my favorite color is blue. As you can see, my walls are blue. All around me. This is adorable and it smells really good. Breathe in through your nose or go to the nearest bath without you works. Ooh, I forgot some makeup stuff. Mascara. Ooh, I forgot some makeup stuff. Mascara. But it actually works really well. I'm wearing it right now. It's a Neutrogena Healthy Volume. And then possibly one of the most important things out of everything here is the hairbrush. This is like a little mini travel thing. It's like smaller than my face. Um, it's really cute. And if you're like me and you have really thin hair, it tangles really fast and it is just not pretty at all. So I mean, I'm gonna keep this in my locker definitely, or brush in my locker. Also, if I want to put my hair up in a ponytail, and I need something to make it not look disgusting. And then, possibly one of the most important things out of everything here, hairbrush. This is like a little mini travel thing. It's like smaller than my face. Um, it's really cute. And if you're like me, you have really thin hair. It tangles really fast and it is just not pretty at all so I'm gonna keep this in my locker definitely or brush my locker also I want to put my hair up in a ponytail and I need something to make it not look disgusting then we have hand sanitizer next similar to the perfume you need it deodorant if you have an iPhone like me they die so fast so this is just like, this is literally just like a random, like literally just a random pair of earrings, which is currently tied up in the necklace. So let's just pretend like it's not. Little earrings, cute little like, teardrop earrings, or raindrop earrings. And then you have this elephant necklace, or this elephant necklace, which is like one of my favorite necklaces ever. In case your outfit is bland or you just want to wear some jewelry, I would definitely bring some. I would put it in your locker. Well, this is what this video is about. So keep it in your locker just in case. You can never go wrong with some lip gloss. I'm currently wearing this one. I think it's Eugenia. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Fruity Pink. Number 110. Yeah, it's Eugenia. 
it's really pretty. Then I have, this is like a little mini sample of BB cream because I have, I think I have two types of BB cream. Um, but this one's like a little mini sample so you can just like, I have, actually I think I have two samples. I have the Olay Fresh Effects BB cream and then I have, I think it's Smashbox. I like it because it's colorful. Okay, I really like these, like it's like blue and green. Like, that's just awesome. So that is it for what you should keep in your locker. I mean, obviously, you should put like a mirror and little like pencils thing that sticks to the door or the side of the, the locker or whatever. Um, I'll probably be bringing some dry shampoo just in case. Uh, maybe other jewelry. I don't know. I recommend to make your locker nice and organized. Like this is really important because you don't want to be like running between classes and then open your locker and have everything fall out or just not be organized and not know where to pick things up. So for the most part, this is what I will be keeping my locker. And so you guys can leave a comment down below saying what you will be putting in your locker or which one of these things do you think is most important to keep in your locker. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe down below and follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, you know, friend me on Facebook, something like that, you know, follow me on Instagram, all the links will be in the down bar below, oh, and follow me on Vine, yeah, all the links will be in the down bar below, uh, and please, if you like this video and you want me to do more of these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up, um, leave a comment, subscribe, all that nice stuff, add it to your favorites if you really liked it that much. I mean, I don't really know if you liked it that much, but if you did, add it to your favorites, and I will be making more videos like this before the school year starts, because I don't know about you guys, but I love watching this kind of videos, so I get more advice for school year, so I will see you guys next week, so bye. It is seeing Hannah Montana pen. How cool is this?